What's up guys, welcome back to Among the Fins, my YouTube channel where I do music reviews. My name is Aaron, and it is time for New Music Friday, where I take a look at some of the upcoming singles and albums and stuff being released. Throughout the week of October 14th, I give my thoughts and opinions on what I think we expect from some of this new music. And there's a lot of stuff coming out this week. Like, uh, there's there's a lot. A lot of really big bands releasing a lot of stuff. So, if I miss anything that you're looking forward to, please leave a comment below letting me know what it is so I could check it out and me and everybody else can discover some new music. And while you're down there, don't forget to let me know what you want me to review next. And if you do that, you don't want to miss out on a request review and you just happen to like what you see here, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell icon. But let's talk about some new music. Lorna Shore is releasing their newest album titled Pain Remains. Uh, the hype around this band is just so much. It turns so many people off. The same thing happened with Shadow of Intent, though, when they came out with their album Melancholy. I mean, so many people gave us so much praise and thought it was the greatest thing that ever happened. And a lot of people were like, I don't even care to listen to it now because of this. But it eventually died out. And, I mean, the album is still fantastic. And I expect this album to be absolutely just... Just, just insane. I just really hope that we get something different from a return to nothingness because sometimes now that I got Will Ramos and they're changing things up and they're getting all this hype around their band, sometimes they want to keep that hype by kind of doing the same thing. And I hope that they don't do that. I hope they don't fall into the rut of just releasing the same song over and over and over and over and over again just because fans went crazy for the Hellfire and songs of the like so yeah i feel like they probably won't do that though so yeah i don't know i'm gonna be doing a review on this one this weekend so we'll see we also have a new album from we came as romans titled dark bloom i feel like this band is just getting more and more generic as time goes on the singles have uh been kind of boring i gotta say so i'm not really expecting a whole lot from this album they're, I don't know, they just kind of sound like every metalcore band. They're just missing that flair that they used to have back in the day. And yeah, I'm not really expecting a whole lot from this album. We also have a new album from Boundaries titled Burying Brightness. Uh, this is probably one of the best up and coming bands around right now. I did a review on a single they released titled I'd Rather Not Say. It was about a year ago or so, and it was just sick. They absolutely won me over, so I'm very much excited for this one as well. Bill Murray is releasing another album titled Goblin Hours, just in time for Halloween. My boy is releasing another album, and it is full of features. Literally every single song has a special feature on it. Uh, I expect nothing but pure brilliance from this release, just because I don't think Johnny can do anything short of that. If, it's just going to be absolutely amazing. Sure, he releases the same... I mean, it, all of his music is kind of the same in a sense, but at the same time, it's just so epic and impactful, and his lyrics are just... They're just there. They hit so hard, they're so relatable, and they're very real. So, yeah, I feel like this is probably going to be his first LP. I'm not sure if the rest of his releases are considered to be just EPs, but this is... This one looks like a full-length album from the guys. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about this one. We also have a new album from Sleeping With Sirens titled Complete Collapse. Um, not really looking forward to this one all that much for the same reasons as We Came As Romans. But also because I've never really jived with the vocals all that much. But I'll probably give this... Probably give it a try. Just because... I had the same vocal issue with Coheed and Cambria, and now I named my YouTube channel after one of their lyrics. So yeah, time makes fools of us all, I guess. Make Them Suffer is releasing a new single titled Doom Switch. I liked their last album, How to Survive a Funeral, but I don't think I liked it as much as everybody else. It was on everybody's like album of the year, and I, I don't even think it made it into my top 10 that year. I don't know. I mean, it was good, but it just wasn't really there for me, but I wonder how much their sound is going to change without Book of Nile no longer being part of the band. Like, I'm not really sure how much she brought to the band, and I don't really know if what she brought to the band is what really made it, like, you know, a make it or break it kind of thing. But I know that she did some keyboard stuff, her vocals were really good, so I'm just wondering if they're going to go a little bit heavier now without having that kind of uh, atmospheric thing going on. I'm not really sure, but um. I don't know. I, I am looking forward to this. I, I want to hear what's going to be new for them. Same thing with Gojira. They released a new single titled Our Time Is Now. 
And I'm always excited for new Gojira because their sound is very distinct, but they're always doing something kind of new. They always have some kind of wacky sound going on. Well, I mean, not always, but within their albums, I mean, there's something kind of weird happening throughout at least one song that kind of catches you off guard with what they do. I like that they like to try to new, like they try new stuff within their own sound. Like they don't really do anything too far outside of it. And I can't really wait to hear what kind of new stuff they're going to bring on this one. Fit for a King is releasing a new single titled Times Like These featuring Jonathan Vigil from The Ghost Inside. This band, it just, they just make me sad. After their last album, The Path, which was a terrible letdown, I don't really see it getting much better, especially with some of the singles being released. <laughs> the, the new singles that they're releasing now are basically just like rinse and repeats of what we heard off of the path. I mean, the creativity just isn't there. They're not really trying anymore. They're just trying to get more songs on the radio to get more listens. And I guess that's working. So, I mean, in terms of success, they're getting what they want. But in terms of like releasing like good music, they're just, they're not doing it. We also have a new single from Four Years Strong titled Cavalier. And heck yeah, this is my favorite Easy Core band. Probably the only Easy Core band that I really listen to anymore. <laughs> I kind of quit listening to them after, I don't know, about 2010 or so. But this is a band that I kind of stuck with. And I'm so stoked. I hope that my excitement doesn't turn into sadness. <laughs> I hope this song doesn't suck. Because sometimes that happens. I get really excited for a song from one of my favorite bands. And it just, it, it doesn't do it. We also have a new single from Architects titled A New Moral Low Ground. Um, yeah, basically just how the mighty have fallen. That's all I really have to say about any music that Architects <laughs> releases now. They're, I mean, the same thing applies to them as Fit for a King, just radio play stuff. But, I mean, Fit for a King is, is, is better, believe it or not. Architects, they just, they suck now. They're horrible. Their last album was, I think I gave it like a two-something. It was just not good. It's not a good album. And... Basically, all their music they've been releasing lately just falls in line with just not being good. And that is it for New Music Friday. Like I said before, there's a lot of stuff. Like, we got a new single from Blink-182, Story of the Year. A new single from Tala. Yeah, it's just a lot. So, yeah, if I missed anything that you guys are excited about that you want me to check out, leave a comment below letting me know what it is. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. Again, if you want to help support me and my channel, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell icon, doing any of that stuff just helps me out tremendously. And I appreciate you guys more than you could ever imagine. And I hope you have a good rest of your day or night, whenever you happen to be watching this. And I will talk to you guys next time. I was